What's going on? We got a dinghy! This is Rebuilding Sanche. All right, everybody, welcome back. So yes, we bought a little dinghy. Shocker, found it on Facebook Marketplace. 25 bucks, couldn't say no. Thing, uh, somebody painted it with like house paint. This is, I don't know, man. We're gonna make her pretty. So, I'm thinking total boat stripped down with preservation possibly of these original decals or even see if we can just strip this down and leave this nice original dark blue gel coat here and just it'll be the patina the tt patina we'll see i don't know man but perfect for sitting nice little bench here i've got some uh akume from another project that i did and uh I'll probably make a new seat, varnish it up, look nice. The uh, the other seat is over there, but that's the next update. And then it's got a little little locker. Yeah, it'd be pretty sweet. So there'll probably be some updates on this. And uh, so I told you guys I was going to be working on shop organization and shop maintenance too. Um, I tried to do some of that, and it might have turned out semi okay. I've got some pegboard up, some parts can be organized now. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked with how it turned out. Not going to complain. And then I started adding it over here as well because I'm going to get some sockets and things going. And you're not going to watch me fumbling around. Also, I think we may have solved our, uh, yeah, ignore Trash Mountain over here, but I, we also may have solved our flooding problem. Um, this is a 100% engineer approved um, patent pending flooding solution to your doorway, as well as, honestly, this thing is dope. Bought it off Amazon for like 90 bucks and you just fill it with water and this thing diverted all the water last night and it went that way i had to refill it this morning that's what you see right here from this hose but yeah and then i just construction adhesived it threw some pressure treated down that i had left over and uh as you can tell the building is clean so that's dope and last but not least the cart this cart right here is going to be getting a lot of miles put on it this is going to be our fiberglassing station for all the hatch panels for varnishing seats this is actually the bench seat out of the dinghy so this will be our varnish table our epoxying table fiberglassing clamping as well as the swim platform which is probably what you're waiting to hear about and see next so guess what we're gonna do that next one thing though before we go to that i just wanted to do a quick test pour with this epoxy and it survived the winter hallelujah jesus ye old swim platform so if you remember the reason why we're taking this off is not only because it needs to be repaired because big sad I don't think swim platforms I don't know it might be a aftermarket feature maybe I don't know anyway so all that it is is just on all three supports there are three screws and then a 7 16 nut. This pops off, this whole thing pops off. I'm gonna leave the bracketry and everything there for now. Um, but swim platform comes off and then I'll take these struts off as well. But I think I'm gonna leave these these on here um, for now. Cause I don't know if I wanna rebed these. I'm probably gonna end up rebedding them, but just knowing how my brain works and the shop, um, I think they're just gonna stay right there cause 
they can't get lost. Pro tip time. Did you know if you save your old coffee cans, you can use them to like put stuff in and label them and then they don't get lost? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do with all the hardware. Oh, and French roast. So yeah, like I said, I just gotta remove nine, nine screws and a couple of nuts, but I'll probably just fast forward it and enjoy the nice montage. No, nah, I'm not doing this. Much better. Zing. I don't know why I didn't think of that from the start. I don't know, man. One last screw. Then we're gonna bring this thing in, set it down, and then we'll roll it over into the shop, and we'll take a look at it, and then we're probably gonna give it a nice wash down, clean it out with the air compressor, and then I'll show you what our next plans are. Just give me a second. swear once and it actually went according to plan tomorrow's Sunday I might have to go to church there she is honestly in pretty good shape aside from as you can see there's some damage here bit of cracking and then here the crack you can see the crack they must have hit the dock or something right here cause impact which caused it looks like it just it delaminated here you can see and I, I'm thinking <clears throat> if I loosen this up put a clamp across allow it to slowly move out I can fill this with a thickened thickened epoxy all these voids after good cleaning get all the dirt and debris out, reclamp it, let this baby soak, then give it a nice sanding with 320, give it some Watco teak oil, slap it on the back of this, and this turd might just polish up nicely. So coming in back here, now that the swim platform's off, we gotta take these, these supports off. Um, this is also the reason why we're taking the swim platform off. Bruh. I don't think hardware is supposed to be loose like that, um, especially below the water line, but I don't know, man. Yeah, uh, this is a two-handed job. Cool. So... Let's get ready to do an old vinegar bath on this baby and get you prepped for repair. Swim platform is now off. Now we need a bristle brush, vinegar and water, another weird brush, and I'm just gonna spray this down and get, I mean, there's like so much dirt in here, but this is also like dirt from me because when we moved it, it was pouring rain and this has been my step stool. So now I need to use a ladder because I'm short. But yeah, she just needs a good, a good wash down and we'll take it from there. <laughs>
Do you guys see that? There's like nice teak under here. Yeah, mama. <laughs> Not a big problem, but looked into the swim platform where that spot is, uh, where the crack is. I flipped it, as you saw, and this is what we've got. I mean, hey, you know, there have been times when I've been like, yeah, a couple deck screws, send it. All right, so I've been cleaning up <clears throat> and waiting for this to dry. I've had the fan going on it. And um, I've been putzing around, tinkering around, and I've got the plan put together, but this thing is still pretty wet. So I've decided that I'm just gonna let this thing get hit by the fan overnight, and I'm gonna come in the morning and lay in my thickened epoxy. Uh, so this is what I am dealing with, with this whole situation. So, there's pretty severe damage here, honestly. Um, and it looks like somebody tried to put in that plastic wood. Um, I've gotten a majority of it off, but once it's dry, I'm gonna chip away the rest of it. So that's okay. Just put them away there. But these things, I've kinda got them layered in together and I can get them to fit together. So then what I'll do is I'll fill in this crack in here with thickened epoxy along with those holes and all of that. And then I am going to then come up here and I will fill in all of this with thickened epoxy. And a little secret I learned from Andy over at Boatworks today. Use a syringe. Make some thickened epoxy, suck it up like baking but yeah so I'll get that put together and then I've got 36 inch clamps so I'll be able to drop this thing down and then that's what's gonna give the smush and then I'll have this with a board wrapped in saran wrap or plastic bag haven't decided yet but once I do that those are going to sandwich this all together and the plastic won't stick to the epoxy and then I'll have a nice clean peel I'll do another sand, then I'll come in, teak oil everything, make it look shiny and nice, and then I'm probably going to wrap this in shrink wrap and put it in the rafters until everything else is ready. See you in the morning. Hey, good morning. So it's the next day, everything's all dried out, and we're ready to go. We're gonna start adding in our thickened epoxy. Um, I took my little handy dandy hobo freight pick and I was pulling out some more of that, uh, that plastic wood um, or whatever they use. And it looks like even some of this is the original adhesive that they use to just laminate these boards together. Uh, so I went through and I've scraped out and picked out as much as I possibly could. So now what I'm gonna do is set up my boards and get all this and get some uh, silica mixed into some epoxy and let's get this laid up. Let's get this batch mixed up. Stick of the day is brought to you by mini part exhaust parts that you cut off.
I apologize, I probably should have uh, actually recorded audio during this, but um, it does get difficult trying to, you know, turn music off because copyright YouTube and uh, touch sticky epoxy and then touch a nice camera. Um, so right here all I'm doing is just mixing the, the Raka epoxy. Um, I use the Raka 127 and uh, right here I'm just about to add in the silica. That's a silica um, additive that thickens the epoxy. right there I'm checking the consistency and then I add more silica the more silica that you add the thicker it gets um, and we didn't really want peanut butter consistency here but we did want more of a glue uh, something that's just not gonna run almost like a honey um, and that's what we ended up getting here and sucking up with our syringe <laughs> Now I'm doing just what the syringe is meant to do, get in that tight space and force that thickened epoxy right into those seams to get that good adhesion. The deed is done. Look at that. Not too bad. Pot started to get a little hot on me, so I was like, eh, I'm not gonna push it. Um, looks like we got some leakage here. That's why I put that piece of tape here quick. And then I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna let it go. I'll see how it works out. I'll sand it down if I gotta do any little backfilling in here with some more thickened epoxy, it'll work. But little syringe trick. Let me know what you guys think about that. Pretty cool, right? Um, and like you can get those in bulk on Amazon. I buy them in packs so like 20 and then I just use them every once in a while for these fine this fine stuff and I'll like dribble the epoxy in but you know it sucks the single use plastic but you know whatever. Um <clears throat> but anyway, so yeah, these will these will be clamped. It's nice and warm and sunny today. So uh this is just going to let let this kick off here and and cure up and I'll I'll take a look at it probably later tonight or tomorrow. But it's just about beer time and boat time. So I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much uh, for watching this episode of Rebuilding Slanche. Uh, episode four coming out. Hopefully next week we will revisit the swim platform and we'll see how the layup turned out. Uh, this thing is going to bake overnight. I'm going to let it probably sit for the night. Um, but yeah, next, next video we'll revisit this. We'll get uh, sanding on it. We'll probably do some more uh, filling and, and, and fine tuning on some of the repair and then we'll go through and we're gonna oil and finalize this to be ready to go back on the boat. And we may dive into some other things, but thank you again for watching. Please like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram. Peace.